Hey, what's up? This is Tony from PassiveIncomeShortcut.com, and I'm back today with a cool little video series called The Definitive Guide to Making Money Online with AdSense in 2012. So the reason I made this video series was that recently, um, a bunch of my friends have been asking me what the hell I do all day online because they know that I don't have a normal job and I just mess around on the internet for a few hours every day and can still make a full-time income so I decided to shoot this video series on how to make money with AdSense because that's one of my sources of income online so if it's our first time meeting I just want to tell you a little bit about myself and how I got started with this internet marketing thing and if you don't care about me at all you can just skip to uh, like three minutes into the video and uh, that's where all the meat is um, my heart will be broken but you can do that alright so basically I got started about five years ago and I found a book called the rich jerk um, that kinda opened my eyes to internet marketing but like most people at the beginning I was trying a lot of different things buying products like products that can guarantee you make millions in like a week um, just trying product after product, trying new business models, and nothing worked for me. And this went on for a few years, actually, um, just because I wasn't taking it seriously. Because I associate the internet with, like, ooh, Facebook, fun games, um, instead of a real business. So a lot of, um, so I had a lot of bad habits, like not sticking to a plan or just quitting too early, um, getting distracted while I work, stuff like that. So it was actually during my senior year of college that I decided that I would take this seriously because I knew that when I graduated, I really wanted to travel and uh, full-time income from internet marketing would actually allow me to do that. So senior year, I pretty much uh, made a really bold decision. I decided I wouldn't apply to any jobs or graduate schools so that if I wasn't making full-time income with internet marketing by the time I graduated, I would literally be homeless because I don't have any family here in the United States. So um, senior year of college, I locked myself in my room pretty much and just worked. Um, I spent more time on the internet than any normal college kid should. And that kind of, just taking that much action sort of just made me figure out how affiliate marketing really works. And slowly, I started seeing results. And luckily, by the time I graduated, I was doing well enough where I didn't need a job or um, or anything like that. And I just decided to move out to LA for fun, where I live right now. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this lifestyle. So I want to help you achieve the same thing by showing you how to make money online with AdSense. All right, so that's it about me. Let's get started with this video. All right, so first let's talk about why um, we want to use AdSense. The main reason, as you probably know, is that it's a great source of passive income. Because with AdSense, um, all you need to do is create content. You just create content, put it up on your site, get your site ranked, and if you have organic traffic, meaning if you have a, a steady stream of people coming in from the search engines, you're pretty much going to be making um, money on autopilot as long as your rankings stay there. So granted, you do have to um, maintain your rankings, so do some link building here and there, but it's passive for the most part. All right, the second reason AdSense rocks is that it's so easy to start. It's a great way to start um, with internet marketing, actually, because you just need a hosting account and a domain name. Um, hosting costs about 10 bucks a month, and a domain's like $10 a year. So that's all you need to get started. And you don't really need a product, or you don't need to promote other people's product. You just need content. You just need words on your page, and you're good. And of course, you need traffic, um, so we're going to talk about that in one of the upcoming videos, but I just want to emphasize how easy it is to start. In fact, it's so easy that my cat, Boo Boo, has her own AdSense account, and here she is checking her stats. Um, she's a little disappointed because she dropped in rankings for the word Meow Mix, but um, I think with some more SEO, she'll be able to get back on top. With AdSense websites you have a really valuable ad set so what I mean by that is um, if you have a website that's making you passive income you can sell it at any point in time for uh, 15 to 20 times the monthly revenue 
So most websites, if you sell them, they'll usually go for 8 to 12 times the monthly revenue. But AdSense sites, because they're so hands-off, you can sell them for a lot more. This is an example of a AdSense website on Flippa. You can see that they're making about $850 a month with AdSense on it, but they're selling it for, or someone bought it for, $22,000. So that's pretty crazy, and um, it's a great strategy. You can make an entire business off of just building AdSense sites, collecting some of the revenue for yourself, and then uh, flipping it later for um, a lot bigger profits. All right, so in order to collect money with AdSense, you need an AdSense account. And you can apply for one at google.com slash AdSense. And the best way to get approved is to have a website with original content, meaning stuff that you wrote yourself, and hopefully it's quality, and a clean layout, meaning everything looks nice, there's uh, not many ads on the site, and it just looks professional, because Google will uh, manually review your site. So if you need another account for whatever reason, say you got your first account banned, well, first of all, shame on you. And um, there's several options. First of all, we can apply for a new account as a family member. Um, secondly, we can register as a business and apply for another account as an LLC. And thirdly, there are AdSense creation services. Um, one of them that I've personally used called AdSenseG.com. Um, I think it's like 25 bucks. You just give them your information and they'll give you an approved AdSense account. Um, I don't know how they do it. I don't really care. Um, as long as I get another AdSense account, I'm pretty happy. Don't tell Google though. All right, so our first step is to do proper niche and keyword research. Um, this is really important because this is like the foundation of where you're going to build your website on. And if you don't take this part seriously, you might end up with a niche or keyword that um, that's not going to make you money. So niche research is important to find a hungry niche. No, not that type of hungry. All right, yeah, that was a lame joke. I like to go on Amazon and look on their bestsellers list for ideas um, because you get to see what other people are buying and then you can use those um, as a starter for your niche and your keyword research. Another good strategy is to go on Flippa and see what other types of websites people are selling and um, if you see an idea that you like go into that niche. I also like to go on 43things.com which is a website where people um, tell each other about their goals so you can see what goals people have and then make a website around a popular one. Also Yahoo Answers so um, what questions people are asking and what problems they're having you can use that for niche research and also Clickbank to see what uh, browse through the marketplace for niche ideas so the important thing is that there must be advertisers in the niche and we'll talk about how to use um, CPC or cost per click in the Google keyword tool to assess whether or not a niche is going to be profitable but basically how AdSense works is other people must be advertising something and when a visitor on your website clicks their advertisement that's when you get paid so if there are no other advertisers then uh, you're not gonna make that much money um, that's why it's important to find a niche that it's gonna have a lot of buyers because that means there's gonna be a lot of advertisers so the most profitable niches are the ones that people will spend the most money in so these include uh, debt consolidation, insurance, health insurance, auto insurance, home insurance, loans, law like DUI lawyers, uh, medical, so a lot of medical problems. These are all really profitable niches. But the problem with these is that they're really competitive because they pay out so much. Um, if you get a click on with any of these keywords, you, you'll probably make a couple bucks at least like at least three or four bucks. Um, that's a good amount of money considering it's one click. So uh, there's a, you're going to be facing a lot of competition. So if you're just starting out and you're not that good at getting traffic or getting your website ranked, um, it's better just to start smaller with a smaller, not less competitive keyword. So um, now we're going to talk about how to find a profitable keyword using the Google Keyword Tool. If you go to if you search for Google keyword tool in Google, the first result is their keyword search tool. So you need an AdWords account, which you can just sign up for real quick because that gives you um, access to the entire tool. Otherwise, you only get a limited amount of search results. 
So this tool just tells you what other people are searching for, and you can use these numbers to see how profitable a keyword can potentially be. All right, so I'm going to quickly cover what you should look for in a keyword. Um, first of all, you want a keyword with high monthly searches, local monthly searches, because that tells you that a lot of people are actually searching for this keyword, so that when you make a website, people will actually come to it. You want to use exact match types which is the max type match type that's in the little brackets because that tells you how many people are searching for the keyword as it as it is um without like without any variations without like adding extra words in there or switching the words around or anything and that's just going to give you the most accurate um search volume especially when you're first starting out and you also want high CPC so CPC stands for cost per click and is what advertisers are paying um, every time someone clicks on their ads so the higher the advertisers paying the more money you will also get and you want a keyword with low competition so be careful with this one because you want low number of competing pages in the search results you don't want to look at the competition column in the Google keyword tool so what I mean is this when you search for a keyword you're gonna get a competition column and um, it's gonna say high low or medium you wanna ignore that that's that's telling you how many other advertisers are there not how many other websites you're competing against you wanna make sure that the local monthly searches is high and you want to make sure that the approximate CPC is also um, a good amount. And I don't, I'm not going to tell you the exact numbers you should use. Uh, first of all, because um, there is no exact amount. There's just guidelines. And secondly, I save um, all of that information, the more detailed information, for members of my uh, training course called Passive Income Shortcut. So um, I do cover AdSense in there. And if you're interested, you can go to PassiveIncomeShortcut.com to learn more. All right, so if we can't use the AdWords tool to assess our competition, we have to use um, two other ways. The first is to see how many other websites there are that um, are actually targeting the keyword. So what you do is go into Google and in the search bar type in all in title colon your keyword in parentheses and do the same with all in URL. So it should look like this. And then you're going to get a number of search results. It's going to tell you how many other search results there are and that's just how many other pages with your keyword in the title or your keyword in the URL and obviously the more pages there are the more competition you're going to be facing. And the second way to do it which is a little bit more accurate is to use a keyword research tool called Market Samurai. So Market Samurai comes with a top 10 competition module which tells you how how strongly ranked the top 10 pages are um, on the first page for your keyword. So again, do not use Google Keyword Tools competition column. Use Market Samurai. And uh, I'm going to talk about how you can get Market Samurai in just a little bit. So this is what it looks like when you run it. Um, there's a lot of columns here, and you have to watch the training videos to really understand what each of them mean. But basically, you want to see a lot of green. Um, and that just tells you that the keyword is easy to overtake. All right, so now um, I'm going to talk about two recommended keyword research tools that I use besides Google Keyword Tool. Uh, the first, like I just mentioned, is Market Samurai. It's sort of like the standard keyword research software. A lot of people use it. Um, I think it's great. Uh, it is a paid software, though, so I'm going to give you a secret tip. Um, you can usually get a, a free trial for Market Samurai if you just download it from their website. I think it's like a 12-day trial or something. But you can actually get a 40-day trial if you type in marketsamurai.com slash 30DC. Um, what this is is... A special deal Market Samurai has with um, another business called the 30 Day Challenge, which also teaches internet marketing. Um, I think it's a secret link that only their members are supposed to have access to, but I found out about it and 